Hi guys welcome to Janrel 3D, and for today's video, I'm going to make this arcade shop here in the Philippines. And I'm your new commentator. Call me Kayla Beautiful. So first I model the basic shape of the isometric room, and then I adjust the camera position. Now I'm just polishing my workspace, so that I can model well with this kind of workspace. And then I create the arcade machine by using a cube. In here I'm in the edit mode and I'm just extruding and beveling some edges so that it will form the shape of the arcade machine. Always remember to look for some reference before you model something in Blender so that it'll gonna be easy for you to model that thing. And also this video is not a tutorial because I've cut out some parts of it because it is too long and will take too much time. Now that our arcade machine is done, I am now going to add some bevel modifier in it so that it will not have a sharp edges. Just take your time in modeling. You can stop for a couple of time, then start modeling again, so you can think of some way to execute your modeling details. And now I am going to make the stool or the chair of this shop. Just by using a cube, then adjusting it in edit mode. Then I am going to add some window too. So that I can see where my lights will take place.
And now back to our chair, I create the foot, or the stand of the chair, with just a cube, and then adding some mirror modifier, on it so that it will duplicate, on both sides of our chair. Then I've created this simple table so that our banana queue will have a place. Then go back to our arcade machine to model some buttons and lever to finish the entire arcade machine. Thank you. 
And then I've added some planes so that it will be our background. So in here I've cut out the video where I shaded the whole scene and then jump into lighting our scene. By using area light and then putting it right the window you can create a basic sunlight look once you've added the fog. And then adjust the power and the color to make it look like a sunlight. Next add a cube then just arrange it in the edit mode just think of it like a real sunlight where you want that sunlight to hit your scene. Then put a new material on it, and then delete the BSDF, then add a volume scatter, with a density of 0.01, and an isotropic of 0.500. Then mix it with volume absorption, with a density of 0.02. Then add another area light, then move it upwards, and just rotate it on the Z-axis, while using the 3D cursor, as your origin. and also adjust the power and the shape of it as disk. In here I am just duplicating the area light that we've used on our window so that it will lighten up the scene a bit. On the final render I've made the color of the world properties black, because it has more nostalgic look than the purple world. And voila this is what our scene looks like if we go into the render view. And now this is the final of our arcade shop. I've added the banana queue. The cherry ball gum. The wall clock. The tarpaulin on the window and the broom and the coke bottle is from the blender kit and then i've adjusted the material on our arcade so that it will represent the arcade here in the philippines This is what I picture in my memory, because it is from my childhood experience, and I miss those times when I was a kid. Also thank you so much for all the supports, I appreciate all of you. And stay safe guys. I love you and don't forget to hit the like and the bell button and subscribe for more of this video, and I hope that you enjoy this video, as I am enjoying editing this video. Goodbye, see you on my next render. Kayla Beautiful out.